Hey guys, it's Janice and Sarah. Sarah from Ozark Family Homestead. And I know some of you have been waiting on this video for a long, long time. So thank you for being patient. But today is the day we are making granola again. It's been on the to-do list and we've just been busy. We haven't gotten it done. But I think you're wanting granola again. Yeah. 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 So we're going to go ahead and get some put together. It really doesn't take that long, but we're going to bring the camera along during the process and film it for you all. So we're going to get started. Here we go. First thing you got to do is give Rebecca some raisins. Are they good? Last ones. And then you got to go play. Okay. okay. You have your raisins. And then tell Anna, say, Anna, let's go play. Let's go play. Let's go play outside. Let's go play outside. Let me go play. Mommy, let me go outside. You can go take you them outside. You can take them outside. Mm -hmm. Go have fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the first step? Okay. So, I've already kind of set some stuff up. Um, you want to start by melting together your honey and your butter along with your spices and your vanilla extract. So there's a lot going in here at, at once. Um, do you want me to say the amounts? Or are we gonna like put the recipe or something somewhere? Well, I'm not gonna put the recipe here. Let me show everybody. Um, this is the book where we use our base recipe. Now, you do make some changes a little bit with yours, don't you? I eyeball stuff. She eyeball stuff, yes. Yeah. Not like your mama. <laughs> so yes, I've had this, um, this book for years. This was my first book that I purchased when we started using whole grains, when I got my grain mill, grain mill and started grinding our own grains. So this is from uh, breadbeckers.com down here at the bottom. Breadbeckers.com, you can get this cookbook. I think it's something like $12 or so for the cookbook nowadays. Um, page 51 is where the quick and easy but delicious granola recipe is. I'm not gonna show you because of copyright things, um, but I did make some notes that it was very good. And we and I added a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a cup of walnuts when I made it. Of course, this is Sarah's version now. So. And I have braces, and walnuts are not <laughs> going to do well for braces. So there will not be walnuts in the Sarah-friendly version of granola here. But it's a very versatile recipe, and you can make changes as you see fit. Okay, so I have two cups of butter in my saucepan. I'm going to put two cups of honey in there. Now, getting two cups of honey out of the container. You're gonna have to work on that one. Sticky business, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm starting to crystallize some too. Yeah, I used up the last bit out of the jar and it was all the crystallized stuff at the bottom. <laughs> so, I'll have to scrape that. Yeah, we'll get a spatula out and scrape that. You got all your honey? Yes. So I got um, my two cups of honey in there. I'm going to start my spices and my vanilla. Now, spoiler alert, I sadly do not measure any of these. So I'm going to give you my rough estimate on what I'm doing. So maybe a tablespoon-ish of vanilla. Just kind of guess. And this is our homemade vanilla. There is a video on making the homemade vanilla and I'll put that link in the description box for everybody. Here. Hey. I'm going to pause because our battery is getting low. Oh. Let me switch out the battery. All right, we have a fresh battery in here. Sarah, you've got, let's just update, you've got your butter in there and honey mm -hmm. and vanilla extract. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to do cinnamon and I just kind of 
I know this isn't helpful, just until it looks right, which is maybe like two-ish teaspoons, maybe a little more, but, so, I could never write a cookbook, it'd all be ish at the end of everything. <laughs> just till it looks right. And then, what is that? A bit of nut, of nutmeg. Nutmeg. About a teaspoon, I think. And then I wanted to put this on the stove top and I'm going to melt the butter and have it basically all mixed together until it's like this really thick syrup and then we're going to pour it on our oats. Okay, go ahead and get that started. Okay, so you just have this on a medium heat and you're just stirring it up so the butter melts. Yep. And all the spices and the vanilla and the honey just kind of all mixes together. Yep. And we'll come back in a little bit here and show it whenever everything's all all together. Mm -hmm. Okay, while Sarah's doing that, I was going to show you all what Andrew and David worked on today. So our corn that we grew out in the second garden this year with the pumpkins um, has dried out and so they chopped down these stalks and they're decorating for me so we have that and then some over here by the house too so we're gonna get some decorations set up outside okay we've got the tub out now and we're going to see what all's in here you guys always like the scarecrow so where's the scarecrow go <laughs> they're gonna start getting some stuff set up here Anna you want to find some stuff we may need to clean off the little plant thing over here, though. We'll get some stuff tidied up, and we'll see what it looks like here at the end. I like putting up fall decorations. <laughs> oh, yeah, David, I forgot about that. We'll need to take down that hanging plant. I think that is just a large weed growing out of the pot. We'll take that down and put it in the greenhouse. And then we can put that windsock up there. And I know this little arrangement here we put up on the plant stand here. And some of this is closer to Thanksgiving decorations too. So, okay, let me go through this and pull out what we need to use. What do you think, David? Is there a way to use all of them? Or just the, the one? Oh, are you wanting to hang it up? I thought you were trying to hang it up by the dinner bell. I don't know. I don't know. Just throwing ideas out. You like that flower? Yeah, we'll need to floof it up a little bit. It's a little scrunched. Oh, what's that? What's that? Yeah, don't pull it off though, okay? What's that? Yeah, we'll have to fix it. I've had this for many, many years. Mama? David, I don't know what you're trying to do there. Right here. Is it going to hold? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> this is what we're getting so far. <laughs> I know. I got this from Silver Dollar City in Branson many, many years ago. And... Goodness, the pumpkin and the scarecrow, I mean, I have had for at least 14 years. So, we just reuse the same decorations. Ah. What? <laughs> We've got our money's worth out of the decorations, that's for sure. Sarah tells me it's all ready, so let's take a look at it. Got everything all melted up. Yep. <gasps> Looks good. So, what's the next step? I'm going to mix it into my 16 cups of oats. Okay. It's nice and hot, so you do not want to spill this on yourself. That'd be a bad burn, wouldn't it? I haven't done it yet, but I can... Oof. Just imagine. Don't even think about it. What do you want, baby? More raisins? Yeah. 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 Yay! Raisins, please. Raisins, please. Wait, baby. There you go. So 
So I'm going to mix this in, go, and baby. then I'm going to spread them out on cookie sheets. Okay. And obviously most people won't make this big of a batch. <laughs> and you can always make a half batch or a quarter batch, whatever it is that you might need for your family size. Yeah. One good thing about this, it can be tweaked however you want it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to make it spicy and put like chili powder and cayenne <laughs> pepper in it, you do you. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that, but... <laughs> Just an example. <laughs> Just an example. Oh. It's kind of like I'm making no bake cookies. Yeah, it is. So basically mix till it's all coated. Now I'm going to get my trays out. Okay. Okay, David is bringing in some table decorations, and these will stay out till after Thanksgiving. I thought, aren't you going to get hay with Daddy? No. Oh, Andrew's going to get hay. Okay. But yeah, we're putting these out on the table. This will get hung up on the wall. And then this will get hung up on the door. We also have little, uh, little wax candle plug-in things. Oh, I forgot about those too. Okay, David's finding all kinds of things. Yeah, you can have pum pumpkin. Little fancy thing. Pumpkin, little fancy thing. Make it symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what else he's got now. Oh, looky, looky. I like. What should do you they, think, David? Should they be switched? A bit gold on the end? Hmm. It's going to be a little smaller. Normally put like a little smaller one on the end. Big debate here. Try it both ways and see what we end up. We can take a vote. Now we have, David keeps calling it our gobble gobble. Andrew named it. I Andrew it. named it. <laughs> and they really want to put it on the table, but I think we're going to wait till November. He's been gobble gobble for so long. <laughs> we're going to wait till November to put him out. Gobble gobble. <laughs> but he's cute. <laughs> so. Gobble 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 all right, girl. Um, you're getting these sheets ready over here? Okay, let me go see what you're doing. So you got your four cookie sheets out, and you're just going to put parchment paper on them? Yeah. Okay. We'll come back when you've got that all ready to go. All right, Sarah. You got your cookie sheets ready? Yep. Four of them with parchment paper on there, and you are going to... I'm going to split... Um. The oat mixture I have right now um, into fourths, just once again, eyeballing it. That would be my catchphrase, just eyeball it. <laughs> if we ever get t-shirts made, it'll be just eyeball it. Or please be careful. Please be careful. That's a please, Sarah. Please be careful. Just eyeball it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be perfect. Okay, so I'm going... Distraction. Focus, focus. Okay. Um... So I'm going to split it into fourths, approximately, and then I'm going to add raisins to it then. Uh, I just, I, spr I sprinkled the raisins on top. Okay. I don't and know why. You don't know why. No, I just, that's just how I've always okay. done it. Now, don't you make half of yours with raisins and half without? Yes. Okay. That's probably the reason why I've picked up on doing that instead of splitting it in half ish and then um putting it on there then mixing raisins in and then finding out well i've got like two thirds and then one third split between two um so i just split it all up and then add my raisins so that i know i have a half okay if none of that made sense okay I'm like all right if you say so <laughs> i'm not good with words no. just show me what you do I just don't. <laughs> okay, Sarah, you've got it divided up here. Well, kind of. Mostly. A little bit of scrapings in there. But now you're just spreading it out mm -hmm. on the cookie sheet, getting a thinner layer. 
Don't worry if it's a little thick. You're going to be um, mixing it up as, as it's cooking. She wants an apple. She's just fruit crazy today. You are. Are you fruit crazy? Oh, you give mama hugs. Okay, Anna's taking care of the apple for a little sister. Goofball, you being silly. And Sarah's got all four of them. And you scraped the bowl too. Yes. So all those scrapings are now on the cookie sheets. And I'm going to sprinkle a handful of raisins on the top of two of these pans. Once again, I'm sorry to tell you guys, there's no measurement. So you basically eyeball it to what you like. Do you like it a lot of raisins or a little bit of raisins? I don't really like mine full of raisins. I'd like the oats <laughs> better okay. than the raisins, actually. Now, our granola also serves two different purposes. Oh, yeah. You like the ones with raisins whenever you're just eating it as a cereal. Yes. Like in a bowl with milk poured over it. They like the raisins in it there. But we also use our granola as toppings for yogurt. It's so and, good on top of yogurt. Yeah, and in that instance, the raisins don't really add to it. So they like just the sweetened oat, crumbly, yeah. you know, cereal type for that. So that's why we make a variety. So. And that's what you ended up with? Yep, so I, would it be, would you say like a half cup ish, three fourths? Something like that of raisins. Mm -hmm. Of course, you, you can add more if you like a yeah. whole bunch of raisins. If you yep. like it extra fruity, or you don't have to even add it at all. Yep, make it exactly the way you want it. Yes. So What's the next step? I'm going to pop these into my oven, preheated at 400 degrees for um, 10 minutes, and then I'm going to stir everything around and then put them back in. For? About five or so minutes, a little more if I want it crispier. You, you eyeball it. All right. All, right. All right, you get to work putting them in the oven, and then we'll see what they look like. We'll sneak. <laughs> Rebecca's having her snack. Is it good? Yum, yum. <laughs> Ten minutes. And we'll see what we end up with. So the timer has gone off. And Sarah is pulling these out so you can, well, stir them all up. Yeah. Yeah, baby. And just leave them and they'll get more um, firm and you can do more of a chunk. Okay. You can put them up in chunks if you don't stir them. But um, with braces, I don't think that'd be a good idea for me to have chunks. So I try to keep them stirred up in a, on, on the smaller side. Okay. So if you prefer chunks, skip this step. Yeah. And or if you want to do a granola bar, you could, um, I think you have to boil the, sear the, sear the, the syrup and then don't stir at all. And you can actually cut it into a granola bar. Yeah, and you, you may want to press them into a you know tighter, more firm yeah. layer if you were going more granola bar-ish. But yeah, it's a very versatile recipe and you just have lots of options with it. So yeah, she's just giving it a stir there. I want to get the stuff kind of in the middle and we're out. I want them just just toasted, not wet. Because then it won't keep. Right. Yeah, and this does keep well. We just store it in a Ziploc baggie mm -hmm. when it's all said and done. You, you want to go snuggle, Mama? Careful, yeah, hot. it's hot, baby. Okay. Rebecca, sleepy. You go snuggle me? Mm hmm. Okay. Sarah, I'm going to go snuggle a baby. Okay. Uh, you're going to put this back in the oven then? Around five-ish minutes. About five more minutes then. And in five minutes time of snuggling with Mama, this is what I end up with. Sleepy baby. So, 
I have to go lay sleepy baby down so Sarah can get her granola. <laughs> She's nodding her head back there. <laughs> I'll go lay her down and then we can film getting the granola out of the oven. Okay. Oh, it looks nice and golden. Look at that. It smells good too. Yes, it does. So pretty. And with raisins. Last one. Now you're just going to want to let it cool. Then you can eat up, put it in a bag. Just have fun. You can play around with it. Um, at this stage would be where you would probably want to cut it. No, probably after it cooled is when you want to cut it. If you were going to do it into a granola bar. Which we've never or done it. it into um, the, more of the chunks. Yeah, and we've never done either of those. Yeah. We always just keep it smaller bits for cereal. But, yeah, if you wanted to do it differently. Yep, yeah. looks good. Looks real good. Oh, Daddy's back with the hay. Daddy and Andrew are back, so... They've got some square bales to unload. Let me see. Well, there they go. Taking a trailer load of hay, trying to get stocked up for winter. So I think I'm gonna go take y'all around and show you the decorations the kids worked on while we were doing granola. Well, I'll show them the decorations here in a little bit. Um, can you tell why today was the day we made granola? I want some. Because Sarah wanted some. You didn't even wait for it to cool down. No, it's like a, no, it's a mix of cold cereal and hot cereal, I guess. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> she threw some in a bowl and put some Daisy, some of our Daisy the cow milk on there, and you're going to scarf it down. Yes. Okay. It's that good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, there you go. And this is what we ended up with in the house for decorations. Of course, I already had my tablecloth. It was out, but none of the decorations were on here. So these are our fall decorations on the table. This is what we have hanging on the front door. And this was just from Dollar Tree a couple years ago, actually. And then up above this door is that little pretty right there. And then outside, let me see. Let's go on out here. And here's what we decided to do with the streamers is put one there and then the other one right here. Of course, the corn stalks and all the pretties. Oh, I still have to get our scarecrow guy. He keeps trying to slump down. So I think I need to get a little bread tie or something and use this to tie him up a little bit. I'll do that. But that's what we're doing as far as decorations this year. Nothing too fancy. And some sleepy dogs. <laughs> oh. Okay, I almost forgot something. I wanted to let you guys know that these cookie sheets here I bought these off Amazon back in 2015. They're stainless steel, and I have been super, super pleased with them. They have the parchment paper on them right now, but underneath, they're very easy to clean. And even after having them for eight years, I would still highly recommend them. We do have them on our family's Amazon storefront. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link, maybe in a comment, or in the description box, I'm gonna put a link uh, for our Amazon store. And so if you're interested in getting some baking sheets like this, I'd recommend them. Just click the link. That way you get these sent to your house, but our family gets a small commission because you used our link. So that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. Quick and easy granola, and it's a family favorite around here. So. If you're able to try it, I hope you like it too. If you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, be sure you do that as well. 
If you think you are subscribed, please double check because some of our viewers are telling us that they intend to be subscribed and when they check, they are not. So please check that out. And if you could tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark Family.